Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be building a 2D gold monolayer. Uh, and we're going to be doing it completely from scratch. So this is pretty exciting because usually in my videos I have some sort of preset unit cell that I use. But in this video everything is completely from scratch. So all you need are the are certain information that you would get from academic papers. Um, so what we're going to be doing is using some information. I have the A and B lattice vectors, and I have the space group, uh, and that's all you need. And it's from a paper that I have linked in the description. Now whether or not you can access this paper is a different story. I know it's different for everybody, but uh, without further ado, let us make a 2D gold model layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to edit and oh sorry we're going to go to file new structure and we're going to go to unit cell and we are going to go down to hexagonal and specifically we're going to want space group number 191 okay and the a dimension is actually equal to the b dimension in this space group so that's why the b dimension is sort of grayed out here and what we're going to do is we're going to set this to 2.755 in the C dimension this is how we're going to add the vacuum so in most of my videos we sort of add vacuum to an already computed unit cell if you're making a unit cell from scratch everything's much simpler you can just add the vacuum right away so we're going to make it 15 angstroms okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to structure parameters and we're just going to add a single gold atom and we do that by just typing AU here and then we're going to label it gold one and the last thing I want to do is I actually want to make my unit cell kind of large so I want to I don't want to make it just a single unit cell I want to make it a supercell so I'm going to do this by doing two lattice constants in the A dimension two lattice constants in the B dimension now in the C dimension we have vacuum so I'll leave this for one uh, one for now so go ahead and press OK. Oh, turn off my volume. Press OK. Select Yes. Now, here we're actually going to put search atoms in the new unit cell. I'd like to thank one of my subscribers for this. He showed me this earlier. This way, uh, you don't have to keep saving everything, kind of like I've been doing in past videos. In any case, just press this option and press OK. So I'd like to thank that subscriber. Thank you very much. Select OK. And then here we just select OK. And there you have it. There, basically that's it. There's your gold uh, model layer. What I would like to do is I'd actually like to expand this for just pictures. So this is not the same expand. This actually does not affect the uh, unit cell vectors. So I go to boundary, then I go X and Y two by two and I press apply. So as you can see, it just sort of expanded it without actually altering the unit cell and then select OK. Then I'd like to do one more thing. Let's go to Edit, Bonds, New. Now recall that I made the unit cell vectors in the original unit cell 2.755 angstroms. So we'll go ahead and make this 2.8 just so we know we can actually connect our gold atoms. Now I'll press Apply. And you can see it sort of basically connected them all there. Select OK. And then we can go ahead and just delete these, this top row, because it's just uh, repetition. It's not actual additional atoms. And there you go. It's as simple as that. This has to be the easiest video and the shortest. It's, you know, it's a short, sweet video. Um, this is your gold bottom layer. And these are your coordinates. So if you want to save it, you go File, Export Data, and then export it as a VASP. And that's it. So, you know, short and sweet. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. Take care.